Okay, so there's some interesting things that you guys talked about, about how you've been led, or maybe you've been in the car when maybe the GPS led you to the wrong place, like you couldn't get to grandma's house or that store or somewhere else. But hey, we've been talking about being led, and specifically Romans 8, 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. In these last few weeks, we talked about it in a lot of different ways. We talked about it, how we're at a dinner table, and if you ever notice there's a difference between a waiter or someone serving the food versus those that are set there at the table, and how we are welcome to be a part of that table, how we are welcome to be the family of God. And it's interesting using the example of a dinner table. Yeah, I know I'm getting hungry too. But we, we can think about how we can be invited there and how different it is. And we also talked about, ah, uh, remember our actions and our attitudes and our words and about how inside that, that really reflects who we are and how we can represent those who we are the children of. And especially, you know, just this last week or so, we talked about Mother's Day. Well, I want to talk to you be about being led. You know, when we talk about being the children of God, but how can we be led? And we had all those different examples that you guys talked about. But I want to ask you a question. How many of you have played basketball? Okay, what about soccer? Okay, football. Now the reason I mention all those is all of those have a position or someone on the team who's kind of leading it. Now I don't have a basketball here, but you know, if I was a basketball player, you have a point guard. They get the ball and then they distribute it. How many of you have seen a football game, right? Go Chiefs, come on. Have you seen Patrick Mahomes? He gets the football. He doesn't just go and run off, no. They have a plan and they know what they're doing. He's hearing from the head coach of what to do and he's leading the team and how people can do things. All different areas of sports, how you have a captain there in soccer, you have someone who can set the ball, I can't dive and do it, but I would. Bump set spike from a volleyball player. You know, they have that person in that different colored uh, uniform that can run around and, and they can set the ball. They have someone who can lead the team. So just like we have in sports someone that can lead the team, we have someone that could lead us in our life. Now remember our verse, Romans 8, 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. And I know that I want to be a child of God. Yeah, even at my age, he's old. Yeah, I'm a little bit old, but I'm still a child of God no matter how old you are. But yeah, if I want to be a child of God, I want to be led by the Spirit of God. So as I think about different sports teams and different things around me, how can I be led? And most importantly, how can I show that I'm being led? What are ways that you could show that you're being led by someone? And maybe there's something that you've learned and you've done that you've been led. And maybe you started out doing this, but now you're able to do that because you were led by someone who knew what they were doing.